Hey guys, well, <laughs> I got a new gun. You're looking at it. It is a Rock Island Armory. It's a 1911 frame, uh, full size, kind of stock GI uh, type model. Um, I actually wasn't planning on getting a new gun. Uh, I was actually looking, I was at my local shop. I just picked up uh, some ammunition and uh, uh, I was actually looking to see if they had the Ruger uh, Charger, that pistol. Uh, I just wanted to see what they were asking for it and maybe go back another time to pick it up. But I saw this guy in the case and I uh, fell in love with it, uh, mainly just because of the price. Uh, I've always wanted a 1911 uh, ever since I started getting into guns. Um, and this was just so incredibly affordable. Uh, I would say on average, the average, um, an average price of a 1911 uh, style gun is going to be about $1,500. Uh, there's a lot of them, you know, at just around the $1,000 range, like $900 to like $1,200. A very common price for different models. However, they go all the way up to about three grand and more. Um, you know, and especially once you start customizing, the, the price goes way up. So I never really thought I can afford one. Uh, I have seen uh, some Taurus models. I think Taurus has a PT 1911. Uh, that's I think around like 600 bucks, something like that. A little more affordable. Um, but you know, I don't have anything against Taurus, but I just didn't like that their specific one. And my local dealer actually didn't have one anyway. Uh, but they did have this. This is a Rock Island Armory 1911. It's chambered in 45 ACP, just like most uh, 1911 frames. Um, and the price on this was $450 brand new. So I couldn't pass it up. <laughs> um, now, I did overpay just a little bit. Uh, there's a markup. Uh, I went to a local shop, very small, like kind of hole-in-the-wall kind of shop. Uh, I don't mind supporting those guys over there. I know I paid just a little bit more on some of their new guns, but I've gotten great values in the past on some used stuff. Um, so I don't mind I don't mind a little bit of a markup. Now if you do some shopping around, you could find this exact same gun brand new for only four hundred dollars even. And that is amazing for a nineteen eleven uh pistol. Um, like I said this is chambered in uh forty five ACP. This is the full size model. It's a five inch barrel. Um, you have some like little things uh on your stock models, like this um, it's kind of skeletonized uh, hammer, and same thing with the uh, the trigger. Uh, some of your cheaper 1911s don't really have that, so it's kind of cool that they, those functions are uh, in this. You do have the uh, ambidextrous um, thumb safety here. Uh, let me show you that this is not loaded at all. Uh, magazine's empty. Let's see, there's nothing in the chamber. Um, so I was really, really happy to... Uh, to actually find this for this price and like I said it's brand new uh, it just it was really exciting it was, and I have to say it was an impulse purchase and I blew a really really good chunk of my paycheck uh, for the month I only get paid uh, once a month at the end of the month um, so I have to say even though I am ecstatic about this new purchase and I actually did shoot it over the weekend and I love it and I made a quick little video for you guys to see uh, which I'll I guess upload after this one um, but it, this is my last gun for a while. I mean, uh, just like knives, I mean, it's extremely addicting. And uh, it's getting a little out of hand for me anyway. I can't, I mean, I, you know, I had the money to buy it, but I have other obligations and responsibilities uh, that my money should be going towards. And, and uh, it's not, it, I, I can't really be buying guns every month. <laughs> I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong. Um, but I spent a lot of money uh, this month and last month on gun stuff. And I've, I have a bunch of crap in the mail. I got some stuff in my Glock coming, some accessories. I got some accessories for my uh, Mossberg 500. And now I just picked up a brand new gun. Uh, so I have to say, uh, all you knife people will be happy because <laughs> I'm going back to knives. It's a, a doing some trades is obviously a lot cheaper than uh, keep doing uh, gun stuff. Um, so this, this video here and um, I'll have the shooting video that I'll upload right after this. And maybe I'll do a video... Uh, showing my current collection of guns, but besides that, I won't have too much gun videos uh, in the near future. I'm going to take a break for a while because, like I said, it's just uh, it's getting a little bit out of hand. Uh, it's a very costly hobby, and uh, quite frankly, I, I can't really afford it. <laughs> um, so anyway, I have I have a nice uh, kind of round collection, a uh, bunch of variety in my collection so far. So I can have a lot of fun for a while as long as I can keep uh, picking up some cheap ammo. Uh, but anyway. Uh, what I plan on doing with this gun, uh, as it is stock right now, I actually like it a lot. Uh, however, I eventually will probably change out the grips. Um, 1911 grips are uh, very, very common. You can find a bunch of different designs real cheap. I'd actually like, because I have the black finish here, I'd, uh, I'd like to go with a um, kind of a pearl uh, handle. Maybe, um, 
maybe like a false pearl, uh, not the real mother of pearl, but something like that, maybe in white or like cream colored. I think that's really good contrast with the uh, the gun um, finish itself. And this is a parkerized finish as opposed to a blued finish. Uh, this exact gun, I believe, comes also in blued, if I'm not mistaken, and that would be what this um, what the magazine is. If you look at the finish on here, if I can get a glare from the uh, the light outside, uh, you can see it's kind of a matte black. Uh, a blued finish is this. This is the magazine's a blue finish, and that is just obviously a very glossy black. Um, so you know, depending on what you like, I believe they come in both uh, both styles there. Um, but it's really really cool. Uh, some things to notice uh, when you buy a cheaper gun like this there are some setbacks, um, such as the finish itself. Like I said, it's parkerized. Even though I got this brand new, um, there are some little marks. Uh, if you notice, maybe uh, no, you can make it out there. Um, the barrel itself right here, uh, there's a lot of wear on it. Even though this is brand new, just from guys in the showroom pulling the, uh, the slide back like that, it's rubbing on the barrel, and there is some, uh, some wear there. So something to, uh, to keep in mind. Um, if you're not familiar with these 1911s, uh, they're, they're just fantastic. And, and shooting with this gun, uh, I didn't know what to expect. Um, it's a much larger caliber, the 45 um, compared to the 9mm I've been shooting in my Glock. However, the extra weight of having a full stainless steel um, frame like this, I would say that the kick is probably about the same. I mean, there's not much more kick than this than there is in my Glock. Uh, you know, because the Glock's so light, um, you have a lot, of, a lot of kick on the, uh, even the 9mm. So it kind of evens out. It really was surprising to me that this was actually very comfortable to shoot. And uh, with that beaver tail grip safety here, um, of course, the, the purpose of this is to uh, keep you from getting hammer bite and slide bite, which is basically when the slide rubs on your hand or the hammer smacks your hand. Um, but it really makes for a comfortable feel, too. Just nestles right in this little wedge of your hand. Um, really nice, though. I really like it a lot. Uh, like I said, if you guys are uh, into the 1911-style frames, uh, I've done actually a lot of research after I got the gun. Like I said, it was an impulse purchase, something I should have done beforehand. Uh, obviously, it would have been better. Uh, but turns out uh, I made a pretty good purchase. A lot of people are happy with these. Again, just an extremely affordable, uh, very nice 19 level, 1911 style frame. Uh, one more thing to note, though, is that uh, when you get these guns, they recommend uh, at least a 100 round break-in period. Uh, I only put 30 rounds to this gun so far. Uh, however, uh, I've had no problems whatsoever. Not a single jam, misfire, anything like that. Uh, it's been, been perfect. But I've also been using uh, full metal jackets. Um, initially, if you get this brand new and you you know put some hollow points through it, you might have some uh, some problems or some setbacks. But again, you know there is a, a break-in period that should be expected. Uh, it's recommended at least 100, but I believe uh, most people put at least 300 before they um, you know consider it to be a, a reliable pistol. But uh, anyway, awesome. I mean, I didn't know they had uh, had a 1911 uh, style gun for that price, so. Very, very happy. I absolutely love it. Like I said, after this video, I will upload a short uh, shooting video on it. So once again, thank you for watching my videos. I appreciate it. I will make a note. I know the whole video, you're probably thinking, hey, what's with the background? Uh, this is actually my table. Um, I decided to buy a white piece of felt, very simple, from Walmart. You see my table's all messed up now, and after my Zippo video, I kind of burned it a little bit. Um, so I decided to go with just a piece of white felt for my background. Very simple. Uh, obviously, knife reviews and videos like this should be able to see what I'm talking about, uh, you know, with a, a simple, clear background like that. So, um, anyway, thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Well, as soon as I shut the camera off, of course, I realized uh, there was some stuff. Some stuff uh, I forgot to mention. Um, first thing is the sights on this. Uh, this does come with just standard uh, stock sights. You can see there. Um, not adjustable. Uh, not a big deal. I think in the future I will get some True Glow or something for this, some aftermarket sights. Um, also, the magazine capacity uh, for this gun, you get these, uh, this Novak um, magazine. It's an 8-round mag. Okay, so initially when you get this gun, you're going to have the 8-round magazine. Although these 1911-style guns are uh, very versatile. There's so many different companies that make uh, magazines for them. You can get cheap, you can get um, $8 magazines, you know, 7-rounders. Um, you can also get 10 round magazines, uh, a little bit more uh, money. Uh, there's actually even a, <laughs> I saw um, ProMag uh, from CheaperThanDirt.com. They make a 40 round drum magazine uh, for 1911s. So you'd have the magazine come out and then there'd be this big round drum 
underneath, which uh, looks goofy on pistols. Uh, I think it's much better suited for a rifle. Uh, however, they do make them if you wanted a 40 round uh, magazine. Um, so yeah, I just want to mention that uh, real quick to you. Um, the breakdown of this gun is a lot different than uh, like the Glock that I showed, obviously. Um, there are plenty of videos, again, on breakdowns on 1911 here. Uh, actually, on this exact same gun, which I found very helpful here on YouTube. If you just search Rock Island Armory, or Rock Island 1911, uh, you'll see someone has a really good video on the assembly and the disassembly of this, uh, this firearm. So if you're interested in that, uh, maybe down the road I'll make my own video on that, but uh, so far I don't have any plans for it. But again, overall, just really nice gun. Uh, there are plenty and plenty of things you can do with 1911s as far as upgrades. Uh, this is also recommended for a good base gun. You could do tons and tons of uh, upgrades on parts, and like I said, you can get new magazines for it. Um, you know, get cool sights or different optics if you wanted. Um, anyway, I just wanted to mention that. So, uh, <laughs> once again, uh, take care.